Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, we're going to be making a couple of brick wall and green cutting boards. To save time, I already jointed, planed, and cut to size. The boards we're using are going to be an inch and a half thick by two inches wide. That is the walnut and the cherry. And the grout will be hard maple, and that will be one and a half inches by three sixteenths. Now we're going to arrange the boards for the long grain glue up. Just turning them over and pointing up in the air the boards that I want the glue to be put on. Then we're going to put the glue on and we're going to use a roller and roll it out. So we're building two cutting boards, so this is the cherry and maple one. Just going to run the glue the same as the walnut, roll, roll them over and clamp them up. And here's our complete glue up, including the mortar. Now we're cutting them into strips. Uh, I just moved into the shop so I couldn't find my cross cut set, so what I just use is a thin rip guide and a T square and cut them. My hands weren't close to the blade, it looks like they are, but they're pretty far away. Now we're going to arrange the board so the end grain is oriented up and we're also going to rotate the bricks so you have a half brick on either side. From there we're going to glue them up. Okay, now to clamp them up. Now I used a board as a straight edge on one side to keep the boards in alignment as I was clamping them up. And I found the cross cut sled, so I'm going to use that to uh, final trim these boards. From there it's on to the drum sander. Uh, I found the hard way that you need to go very, very light passes at a very, very slow rate of speed. I tried it the first time, went too fast and too much and it actually stopped the sander right dead in its tracks. So I had to release the, uh, the bed and start all over again. Remember, very light passes, very, very slow. So 
So from there, I'm going to add the uh, brand. This is a new toy that I got. It's pretty neat. Took a lot of practice to figure out how to do this without burning the board. And from there, it's to the router table to round over the edges. I wasn't sure if I should go with a chamfer or round over. I decided to go with a round over on this. Then just did a random orbit sander, you know, through the grits, 80, 150, 220. Once done with the 220, I went with a hand sander and hit the boards with 400 grit. Now it's time to flood on some mineral oil. Liberally put it on and just keep flooding the surface until it won't take any more. At that point, let it sit for 10 minutes and wipe the boards down. Here's the surface flooded. You can see it's still sucking it in. This is after a bunch of liberal coats. All right, so now I'm going to add some rubber feet to the bottom. Simply just using a ruler and, and putting it where I need it to be, which I believe was an inch and a quarter from the edge. Okay, here they are done. I think they turned out great. I think I'm going to put these up on uh, Etsy or eBay. I'm not sure which one, but I'm definitely, uh, definitely going to sell these. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.